I want to show you this super quick and easy water material texture tutorial for Blender because within Eevee you can do it so quick and easy now. So delete your default cube, create a plane, multiply it by 5, don't know why, just multiply it by 5. Go into the material preview and add a new material, principled BSDF should be added by default. Now let's call it something crazy like water, yeah water, that'll do. And what we're going to do is add a new texture, Musgrave texture, vector, bump, connect the height to the height and the normal to the normal. If you've got a node wrangler add-on enabled, press Control T and there we go. Our material, wait, no. Okay, we're not done yet. So what you need to do now is just play around with the scale and this is what's going to change it from being either an ocean viewed from far away or a sort of close-up view on a little pool. So adjust the scale first and we're going to play around with the lunaricity lun lunaricity 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 and that's going to change the sort of scaling of the texture that we've got here put the dimension to 0.8 or something increase the metallic up towards one change the hzri for no reason whatsoever and here we go let's decrease the strength of the normal and there we go now we're starting to get a oceanic looking material looking really nice but it's a bit too golden so let's go and change the color to something blue because water is usually a blue color yeah yeah there we go that's looking quite nice and as a close-up that's looking quite good but if we want to get an oceanic look from far away change the dimension and change the lunaricity lunaricity you know what i mean and there we go boom we have an ocean looking texture without having to change the size of the actual plane itself we're just playing around with the scale and the settings on this Musgrave texture. Now obviously an ocean is going to be a much darker color so change that to be a much deeper blue. Well whatever color you want it to be, this is the thing, you can just change the base color and Bob's your uncle, have it to be whatever you want. But how do we animate this? How do we actually make it look like an ocean? Well on the mapping node right click on the Z, do insert keyframe, move along to however following you want and add another keyframe, move it along to like one meter or something. Add another keyframe, right click, make sure it's linear so that it's constantly moving. And there we go. We've got a nice looking puddleness, but mm, we want it to actually move from left to right. So now turn your attention to the Y value, add a keyframe there, and then. Wow, amazing. So, so beautiful. It looks like a real ocean. And there we go. If we hit play now, you can just see it's moving. It's looping pretty much as long as the, the keyframes all align properly. And then you can go ahead, as I say, change the color to be whatever you want it to be. And the best part is that this is always going to be moving. So you can just change the settings if you want. And the best, best part is that this is one face. All of this has been created. There's no extra geometry or anything like that to create all of this detail. It's just four vertices. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this helpful. Play around with the settings as much as you like and go create some water. <laughs>